Hi, we are here today in Gilbert, Arkansas, and I'm talking with Ben. We are on the Buffalo National River. And Ben, first, I want to ask you about this store behind us. Well, the Gilbert General Store has been in existence since 1901. Okay. And it has a second half, which was built in 1906, five years later. Which side is the second half? Second half is on the left, which is the downstream side. Okay. But it's been a, uh, a major uh, item in the town of Gilbert for a decade plus. How big is this town? Well, it's had its moments back in the turn of the century, which uh, was a railroad town, basically about 500 people. Okay. Today, 13. Well, what in the world's going on here in Gilbert? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, tourism is the only thing that's okay. going on, and it is a summer destination. When uh -huh. you think of Arkansas, people think of Gilbert because it is the coolest town in yes. Arkansas. Yes. And that's not only that there are some cool people, temperature-wise it does get a little chilly at times, but it's a destination that people will come and visit and have fun, okay. cheap recreation, yes. but yet to live here. Right, and you have so many things to do here. First of all, the store I, I was in earlier and I noticed, I mean, you're, you're selling t-shirts. I mean, if you come here unprepared, you're gonna be able to fix you up in absolutely, there. Absolutely, absolutely. Right? Uh, it, it's, it's all floater oriented. Uh, anything that you need for going on the river, kind of like going to the beach, we have it. Right. There's no two ways about Sunglasses, it. Sunglasses, you can even buy a t-shirt here uh, to remember your trip. Um, but I'm looking across the way here and you have, I see canoes and um, buses. Tell us how all this goes together. Well, basically this operation here, we've got cabins, we've got a campground, we've got canoes, uh, along with personal shuttles. Uh, anything anybody has or wants to do with the Buffalo River, mm -hmm. we can orchestrate. Uh, we are an official concessionaire with the Buffalo National River, one of 12 here in the Middle River, and our permit's for 120 boats. So we can handle 240 people, plus the kayaks and the rafts, and inner tubes. That's quite a lot. Absolutely. Anybody wants to do anything, we can orchestrate a trip for them. Okay. And where do you put in? Do you, where, do you take people up the river to put in? Mother Nature dictates a great deal. In other words, if the water's up, we like to go upstream and float to Gilbert. Uh, we advocate the one shuttle policy. Our operation is so close to the Buffalo River, we can take you upstream with one shuttle. When you get out 40 yards, you're at your car. That's nice. Or in lower water, we can put you in here float you downstream, pick up time, get you, bring you back. Okay, do you have a guide that takes people on? If, if people want a guide, absolutely. Mm -hmm. This river is so easy and it's one way down, one way up, it's no problem that they can go themselves. If they prefer a guide, we can orchestrate a guide for them. There's three parts of the river that, is that correct? The Buffalo River is about 145 miles long mm -hmm. and there are three sections split up uh, due to the national status. The upper river is about a uh, 13 to 10 foot drop per mile, so those more adventuresome mm -hmm. in higher water. And in the spring, which is probably, I would say, uh, uh, February to uh, the end of May, and if we're lucky, into June, which this year we were with a lot of rain, they were renting canoes last weekend. Wow. That's a whitewater enthusiast up there. You uh -huh. better know what you're doing and very careful. Of course, it's up and then it's down, so right. you gotta hit it when it's there. The lower river is about a three foot drop per mile, which is from here at Gilbert, downstream. Okay. It's a lake with a slight current. It's okay. fun, it's nice, it's a fisherman's paradise. Kind it's of a fun. lazy river type of thing. Absolutely, but then we're in the middle river. This is the choice part, in my opinion. Okay. It's a combination of the upper river with rapids mm -hmm. and the lower river with the pools of water. Nice. So you can get that white water enthusiast and get that rush. Nice. But then regain your composure when you get into the hole of water. Okay. Or throw the kids out, go swimming, whatever. What other things do you guys do here? Well, I mean, uh, it is a large smallmouth bass stream. Mm -hmm. Now, and, and along with the floating, uh, we have the elk here. Mm -hmm. they're, they're more uh, uh, proficient on the upper end. They're prolific there, but we do have them here. Okay. And it's a time of year for that type of wildlife. They're looking at us right now, right. but they're hidden. Now, fall of the year when the foliage is off is the time to see them. So you can do some uh, wildlife viewing, some hiking. Hiking, a lot of hiking, bird watching. And then for those that don't want to do it, grab a good book, a jacuzzi hot tub, fireplace at the cabins. We have one of three drive-ins okay. here locally in the county that they can come do some extracurricular activity. Perfect. It sounds perfect for anybody. If you're looking for some fun or a lazy river or whatever, come to Gilbert, uh, Arkansas at the National Buffalo River and have some fun, guys. <laughs>